Hey, what's up everyone? Nurse Jar here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, smash that subscribe button. Kick the like button on this video. This actually helps my channel to become more recognizable here in YouTube and also on Google. Um, and if you want to be notified whenever I upload new content, go ahead and ring that notification bell, okay? So guys, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, these upcoming super clips that I'm going to be doing. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some information on the first uh, indirect care behavior super clips, okay? Um, so anyways, you know... Um, I'm sure you're well aware that there are five indirect care behaviors. Uh, you have infection control, safety, communication, privacy, and dignity, right? And these indirect care skills or behaviors um, are you are going to be evaluated on from start to finish of your skills exam. So it's very important that you know exactly what the NAE or nurse aid evaluator or proctor will be evaluating you on when it comes to these five indirect care skills for each individual skill okay so that's what these upcoming uh super clips are going to be about so today we're going to talk about ambulation yes walking okay assisting the person to ambulate with the use of a transfer belt now these super clips are going to be both for prometric and pearson view okay so when it comes to infection control for both Prometric and Pearson view, you just want to make sure that you have verbalized washing your hands before you actually touch the person. Okay. Before you lay hands on that person, uh, you want to make sure that your hands are clean. All right. And then at the end of the skill, you want to ensure that your hands are clean. So before you state skill complete, you need to verbalize washing hands, all right? Okay, safety. Safety when it comes to ambulation. The NAE is going to evaluate whether you ensure that the bed is in a low, safe, locked position. This is for Pearson view, okay? Bed is in a low, safe, locked position. For Prometric, the NAE is going to evaluate whether or not you check if the person is seated in a wheelchair, if that wheelchair is locked, okay, for safety. For both Pearson View and Prometric, uh, the evaluator is going to be evaluating you on whether or not that person's feet are flat on the ground before you actually stand them. So if their foot is like this, they only have their toes on the ground and their heel is still up, you'll want to ask them to scoot, um, you know, more so towards the edge of the bed or the edge of the chair, okay, until their feet are flat on the ground, all right? Um, also, with safety, when it comes to ambulation, you want to make sure that you stabilize the person's legs before standing and give them a cue as to, okay, on the count of three, we're going to stand. If you give them the cue, on the count of three, please do not count backwards, okay? Um, because if you say three, you're telling them we're gonna stand on the count of three, and if you start with number three, they're gonna try to stand, right? So what you should say is on the count of three, we're going to stand, one, two, three, stand, okay? Instead of saying on the count of three, we're gonna stand, three, two, one, okay? That doesn't make any sense, right? But I've seen that. Um, so give them that cue before standing, uh, make sure that you are stabilizing their legs with your legs. So your knees need to be flush to their knees or with their knees. So your knees are actually going to be touching the person's knees. Okay. Um, safety also, you want to, um, ask the person before you stand them, if they're feeling dizzy immediately after standing them and also during the ambulation. So you will ask that person at least three times during the skill if they are feeling dizzy, okay? Um, and one more thing when it comes to safety, the gate belt or the transfer belt. 
There are two loops in that transfer belt. One has teeth and the other one doesn't, okay? So usually you will string the belt through the loop that has teeth first. After you do that, right, because the teeth is what locks it in place, you want to make sure that you stream it through the second loop also. If you do not, you're not going to get credit for the step that states uh, or requires you to uh, securely place that gate belt around the person's waist. So make sure you stream the belt through both loops, okay? Um, again, with the gate belt, you need to cup it cup that gate belt upward with your hand. So you're not going to be holding it with your fingertips. That belt should be in the palm of your hands with your fingertips up. Okay. Not down. All right. Okay. Um, communication. Um, communication is the same across the board for all your testable skills. Um, you will want to make sure that you communicate everything you do before you do it to the resident. Okay. Again, each and every single action you take, you need to communicate with the resident what you are doing before you actually do it. Okay. Um, privacy. Privacy. You want to make sure that you um, knock on the person's door before entering and also before re-entering, right? Because I know uh, with Pearson View, uh, the supplies are usually not at the person's bedside. They're either on a supply table um, somewhere in the testing room or even a file cabinet somewhere in the testing room, right? So if you have to leave out before you re-enter the room, you need to make sure you knock on the door, okay? For Prometric, uh, most of the time the supplies are going to be at the bedside. So it's not like you're going to be leaving the bedside to get your supplies, okay? So you won't have, you shouldn't be re-entering the person's room, okay? So knock before entering, knock before re-entering. Um, also, you wanna make sure that you provide the person with privacy, so you want to close uh, their privacy screen, all right? Um, oh, guys, you know what? I forgot one thing. Let me jump back up here to safety. Safety, you wanna make sure uh, before you say skill complete, that that person's call light is within reach. This skill for both Pearson View and Prometric is, um, is uh, performed on a live person. So give that person the call light in their hand, okay? So make sure their call light is within reach before you say skill complete. Okay, we're going to jump back down to dignity. Uh, you know, dignity is all about treating the person uh, respectfully and courteously, right? You just ask yourself, all you have to do is ask yourself, how would I like to be treated, right? How would I like to be treated? Uh, so with ambulation, uh, you know, and all the skills really, you, when you address the resident, you want to address them by name, not by, you know, endear, endearing terms such as sweetheart or honey or anything like that. So if the uh, acting resident is name is Mary, then you'll say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Miss Mary. Okay, so you want the title in the name. If the person is a male, let's say their name is John, then you will say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Mr. John, all right? Um, also with dignity, when it comes to ambulation, you and all other skills, you want to introduce yourself by both name and title. So you will say, my name is Julie, I'm your CNA. Or you could say, I'm your CNA, my name is Julie. As long as you get both your name and title in there, okay? You'll be good to go. Um, dignity also um, encompasses or fosters uh, giving the person or allowing the person to make choices, right? Um, ask about their preferences uh, during the skill. Ask the person, is there anything I can do for you, right? Ask the person after you've completed the skill, uh, would you like for me to keep your uh, privacy curtains closed or would you like for me to open them up, right? Okay. Um, so just giving the person, um, you know, promoting that person's dignity. All right. So guys, that is it. That is the super clip for ambulations 
five indirect care skills. Okay, I just told y'all what the nurse aid evaluator or proctor is going to be looking for, okay, for the skill ambulation. The next indirect care skill uh, super clip is going to be on, let's do bedpan next, all right? I hope you all enjoyed this super clip. I will see you all later. Ciao.